Hello and welcome to my channel all today. I'm going to show you guys results and explain to you what I have found out from oil analysis. Does thicker oil worse than thinner oil? Does thicker oil creates more problems, more wear on the engine. There are comments that I received from you guys that thinner oil 0 double 20 just for fuel economy only. It actually causes more wear on the engine. But I haven't seen any proof. So from any of those people that commented. The sticker oil makes it worse for the engine. Does it create more problem? Does it create more wear on the engine? Well, some say it does, some say it doesn't. Some say that thicker oil provides better protection for the, for the engine. Others say it's opposite. Well, it is a thing. There is no wrong answer. I'm gonna repeat, there is no wrong answer. All those people that said those things about thicker, thinner oil, they are correct. However, keep in mind, it depends on the engine. So, some engines might have smaller oil galleries, while the same engine on a different brand of vehicle has bigger oil galleries. So, will thicker oil cause more problems? Well, think about it. Try to push thicker oil through the smaller oil galleries. What's going to happen? Well, you're going to have problems. Especially in the colder climate. Especially. I tested 5W Tori, zero down, same vehicle, same mileage. Both were about temperatures of 50 degrees, warm weather. Will I get different results with the 5W Tori in a colder weather? Absolutely, the results will be different. So today I'm gonna to show you guys in the warm weather results. And for those of you that are commenting and leaving your comments, even, even just your opinion without any proof, that's appreciated. Because now I have a proof that I'm going to share in this video. And I'm not going to say that you're wrong. All of you guys are right. It just depends on the engine and the brand of the vehicle is being used. Some say you can use from A to Z. Others say use only one viscosity. Others say if you have 0 W20, recommended but you cannot get you can use 5w20 well that's nice so that means the vehicle is designed others say 5w20 only no option others say 0w20 all the way to 5w40 so let me show you something else and then i'm going to show you lab results and then you make a decision on your own if 5w20 is better option for you or 0w20 so here's an example of v8 engine one of my favorite v8s one not the only one and it's uh recommended to use zero w20 and that's what i use factory says change oil every six months i change every 12 or 13 months oil and this is what i use zero w20 viscosity does it make sense for me to use this yes why i done oil analysis oil analysis report on my channel zero wear on this engine 13 months 12 months eight nine thousand miles in that and that's what i get zero wear on the engine so and this is running highway city traffic idling for hours in the winter time because you get stuck in an accident or idling in the temperatures down south with temperatures about 90 95 98 for hours and i'm getting zero wear on the engine with this 0 w20 with this brand with amsoil does it make sense for me to switch to 5 w20 well no what am i going to gain i already have zero wear for the metals with 0 w20 so why should i switch there is no benefit no value so let me show you something else so in this V6 engine, one of, one of my favorites, not the only V6, but one of 3.5, it says recommendation 5W Tori, and it's 2011, V8 is 2012. I run, owner manual says to use conventional oil every six months. I run this oil, 5W Tori, every 12, 13 months, eight, 9,000 miles. This is what I run. Zero wear on this engine per oil analysis reports on my channel. Many of you have seen it. If you're not, you can search, you can ask, and I can post the link. Zero wear on the engine. So, 
does it make sense for me to switch to 0W20 while I already have zero wear on the engine? Per oil analysis, absolutely not. Am I gonna get better fuel economy? Maybe, maybe not, who knows? You know what I mean? I cannot say for sure unless I test, but why should I run 0W20 in this engine if I already have zero wear on the engine? The oil is already protecting the engine to the best possible extent. Would I get better results? Well, no, because you, I'm not gonna get any better than zero already. I run 12 months, 13 months. This V6 gets a lot of idling, short trips. And due to that, I do get, you know, a bit higher fuel dilution with the short trips sometimes because the engine just not doesn't get to uh, warm up. When you drive a mile or two and you shut the engine off, then you repeat that five times in an hour or in two hours. Well, these are the results. So let me show you oil analysis reports now. For 0W20, this is the oil analysis. Many of you have seen. I wanna, I'll show you all the results. I'm not gonna go over all the results. You can go over on your own, read on your own, spend the time. If you have questions, you can ask. So, iron is six, aluminum is three, with zero W20. Same vehicle, same mileage, same driving conditions. Because this is what I'm testing. They're all the same. It's just different oils, different oil additives that I have been testing, and now going to different viscosity. So, does 5W20 provides better protection? Keep in mind, this is a modern vehicle with a modern technology that recommends or requires, recommends 0W20, or 5W20 if 0W20 is not available. I decided to go 5W20. Let me show you the results. Remember? Six for iron, three here, aluminum zero, and aluminum three. So, 5W20 actually provided better protection, even though it decreased more fuel dilution, but however, because it's thicker oil, the viscosity is still better here than there. So, as you can see, you can read the rest on your own, so 5W Tory in this vehicle provided better protection against the wear, twice as less with the same mileage. So meaning this oil can actually last longer 5W Tory in this particular vehicle. So to sum it up, to summarize everything, the sticker oil always better solution. It depends on the engine and depends on the brand. If the owner manual has a range you can use from thicker and thinner, then yes, you can use thicker in the summertime for sure. Winter time, you might wanna use thinner. What about if the vehicle does not have that option? Well, if it does not have that option, that's something to consider, reevaluate, look at the different uh, options and ask questions. And I can make a video provide an answer. I want to thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and share these videos with others. Thank you.